All right, we've moved into the super modified truck class. This is Philly's paycheck. This is a 77 Chevy, 510 cubic inches under the hood. Uh, really just a nice looking truck. Phil Carlin from Mantua, Ohio. That is just south of Cleveland. And he's got himself a real lot of thunder under that hood. Out of the hood. Big long wheelbase supercharger sticking out the hood and they are the horsepower building four wheel drive. The all out competition class. See the rear tires are moved out of the fender wells and stretched in length. And that will just does more for the pulling. It gives the truck better traction. The longer the wheelbase, the better the traction. Of course, in the modified class, the wheelbase must remain within plus or minus one inch of original. These guys can go up to 170, and it really shows when they hook to these sleds. He figures he's got about 1,400 horsepower. We'll see. Good pull. A good pull for Phil's paycheck, Billy's paycheck. And if you notice, front end doesn't come up on these babies all four stay on the dirt Philly's paycheck all four on the ground good hook has a little problem keeping it right straight down the track and that's what you want to do with one of these super modified they're stretched out they're long wheel but you notice the tires working a little bit for him there on the starting line area we get things aired out headed down the track and right in this area the motor begins to go sour on him just a little bit as it sounds like one of the cylinders begin to pop back a little bit not enough for a full pull. Here's the measurement, 191 feet and three quarters of an inch for Phil Carlin. He calls it Philly because that's where a lot of his money goes, right into that. Let me tell you something. If Chubby Checker had a pull truck, this would be it. The Twister. Ron Keel in the saddle. Out of Chelsea, Michigan, and this is a supercharged Hemi. We've seen the supercharged Chevrolets pound the ground, and this is a big Hemi under the hood, the twister. Another good looking paint job. Well, I'll tell you, this is the personality of these trucks. Drivers are inside, uniforms and helmets on, but the way the truck looks outside says a lot about a guy like Ron Keel, the driver. He's got the green flag. It's at his discretion. Listen to the crisp sound of that supercharged motor. business it was a beautiful pull right down the left hand side of the track of course no problem keeping it inbound just glued on all four and a fine run for the twister when we see this again we will see that there was not a lot of movement in and about the track he kept it on the left side and the truck performed real well left side has shown well all night long and here again it's, it's an outstanding place to hook looks like it's probably the best place on the track you know it seems just really bearing down on it keeping a good straight line not not causing anything to uh, go astray so that he loses any footages on the end of the course but a fine pull for the twister and for ron keel behind the wheel of the twister a first pull of 196 feet one and one quarter inch and talk about paint jobs and looking smart how about the diamond t mr diamond t is freddie powell that is one sharp looking truck Freddie Powell makes his home in Trestwood, Kentucky, and this is a 1939 Diamond D. What would you call it? Would you call that color puce? What would that color be? Rose. Rose. A dusty rose color with a maroon trim on it. That is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. The Diamond D truck originally was a laboring truck. It was a truck used, built in the one-ton versions and larger. Mostly this was a one-ton version of it, and they were used for some heavy hauling they were a heavy constructed truck and this is the only one i've ever seen to my knowledge on the pull circuit well we're going to get a show tonight here from mr diamond t freddie powell has the green flag supercharged Gillelay. great shot there you can see it from dirt level boy it does bark and howl Mr. Diamond T, an absolute gem. We'll see if he can measure up. Mr. Diamond T, not quite 14 carat, 
but pretty good nonetheless. 183 feet and 8 inches for Freddie Powell tonight. Gee, that's just a great shot right there of bad intentions. That's the name of the truck. Ricky Bell's behind the wheel. That's pretty. 526 cubic inches of supercharged Chevrolet. Ricky Bell turns loose with it. Rolls a little ways, matches the throttle. Pure, unadulterated work. The entire pull. It did not come easy for Ricky Bell. Ken Brew, he never got the truck hooked to the track could be a condition where it was a bad track and, and maybe some other people you know the pullers before him had rutted it up and it wouldn't go back together for him or could be too much ground speed but bad intentions never glued in tonight well now the winning run of the super modified truck competition the tobacco farmer Alan Gaines from Kentucky as he has done so many times in the past Alan Gaines with the orange blossom special makes one of the most Beautiful runs you've ever seen in your life, all the way down to the end, 197 feet plus. Excellent pull for Orange Blossom Special. Alan Gaines with three trucks here tonight. This, the showstopper, the Orange Blossom Special. The Tobacco Farmer wins the super modified competition, a pull of 197 feet, three and a half inches. 